everyone. Thank you so much for being here. This is the topic today. We're talking about the Sephora Favorites Clean Me Up Kit. So it's a collection of clean beauty products. It says good for you, clean beauty must-haves. And um, this was $32 for what it seems like quite a few products in there. And you are getting two of them that are full size, the one from Kosas and Merit. And then there's a mini mascara from Ilia. This, uh, I don't know how you say this brand, Say. Uh, this highlighter here or illuminator type product. You got a spray, another lip product, and I just thought I've been playing with these a little bit, just kind of starting to get acquainted, and I thought I would apply them in this video. So it won't really be a full face, but I'll go through and just kind of stop and show um, the different things from this set that I'm applying. I really did want to try something from this line, so that kind of drove me to it. Also, this lip product from Merit I thought looked really good. The spray from Tower 28. So I was intrigued enough by enough things to make me go for this. So as you look at my face now, I've just done my skincare and I thought I would use this uh, glowy super gel in star glow as a primer, but I might also tap it in as a highlight too. It looks really like you pump out a little bit and it doesn't seem too like thick with shimmer. It seems like the level of shimmer that you might get out of a primer type product. I don't know, maybe some people who know a lot about this are telling me, no, don't put it all over your face, but I feel like it's giving me the kind of glow that certain glowy primers would. In fact, I need a little bit more to hit the forehead. But see how like it really gets kind of glossy and dewy looking, but it doesn't seem too absolutely loaded with shimmer. So I think that looks really nice all over my skin, actually. Um, the way I tried it before was kind of tapping it in on top, and that looks pretty too, so we'll do that. But this is really neat because it goes on and it looks like undetectable. You can't even see shimmer flecks, but yet my skin looks glowier. It feels a little more hydrated. I really like the look I'm getting from that. Okay, I just want to say I put on my Kosas foundation. Um, it's the Revealer foundation in Light Plus Cool 180, and I think it looks so pretty. It looks extra extra glowy on top of this primer. It's really beautiful. I use my usual amount and I feel like this is somewhat of a juicy foundation anyway, like it adds a little moisture to the skin. Um, it is loaded with skincare ingredients. And just using it with either no primer or primer that has less of a look to it on the skin, it still looks really radiant, but now it looks even glowier. So just thought I'd share that. So the look has progressed. Um, I put on my Kosas Revealer foundation and concealer. I also just, you know, continue with that Kosas Trio, I used my Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. And then I'm using this NARS Duo in Casino and Orgasm X. It's the Summer Unrated Duo, my favorite one of them. I just love the intensity of that bronzer. I think it looks super natural on my skin tone. And then that blush is so pretty as well. It's got a lot of shimmer and glow. A little bit goes a long way, but I love it. Now that we're at the highlighter phase, I thought I would come back to this and just see if I could dab it a little bit on top of my look and show you guys what kind of look that gives. So I pumped out a little bit here on my hand. It just looks so um, milky and creamy. It doesn't even really like scream shimmer at you just looking at it all sort of sheared out there. But I'm gonna dab some right up in here. And as it comes in contact with the skin in a very sheer way like that, can you see the glow now? I think that's so fresh. Gosh, I'm glad I got this. And the size seems really pretty generous too. Look, I'm just tapping it in with my finger right on top of the cheekbone, down to the top of the cheek. Really pretty. Um, it does feel hmm, probably a little more tacky on the skin compared to most other cream highlighters that I have or liquid highlighters. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit up here on the forehead, but a really neat thing about it is that it's not attracting attention in an unflattering way to any fine lines or pores or anything like that because it's just so sneaky. Look how it made me glow, but it doesn't have a ton of like shimmer particles. So, wow, I really like that. I like it both as a primer and on top of the skin. Now we can go ahead and set things with this little Tower 28. Um, it says SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray, SOS Safe our skin. It is accepted by the National Eczema Association and it says it's the happy solution for angry skin. Um, use AM and PM before moisturizer. Oops, dang, I didn't do it like that. I was picturing it more as a setting spray, but that's what we're going to do right now, okay? Uh, so I'm going to mist a little bit out here. It has 
hardly any smell, but it kind of reminds me of the smell of a clean hotel room. <laughs> what a weird scent description, but now I've got that all over my skin. I'm looking, I think, even a bit more dewy. It's a really, really minimal ingredient product there. I mean, it seems like the fewest ingredients out of anything that I've used today. It just says water, sodium chloride, and hypochlorous acid. That's it. I'm gonna move on with my brows and then we'll have an eye look using this. Brows are done and we're gonna do the eye. This is from Kosas, which, you know, it's a brand I'm loving these days. And it's called the 10 Second Eye Gel Watercolor Eyeshadow in the shade Heat. And I almost purchased this product on its own and then I realized it was part of this kit. I think I'm really intrigued by the 10 Second Eye idea. Now I haven't used it alone on my eyes yet. When I first got this, I was kind of playing with it in a swatch and it really like hung on to my hand while it completely set. And I used it as kind of a little accent on my eye, but today I just wanna see how it looks to make my entire look out of this. With the name 10 Second Eye, I think they've intended for this to be just a very simple product. Um, it's a pretty like rose gold shimmery shade. And I'm gonna get a little bit on here and just kind of blend it around on my eye. Gosh, I've been meaning to do my nails. Maybe tonight will be the night. Okay, so I've blended that all over, that's a light layer all over that lid. And looking up close, I can see the shimmer and gleam, but I kind of want even more. See if it's buildable. It might take a little longer to set this way, but, ooh. Building it up a little, letting my finger feel like it's actually touching my crease. I think that's pretty, it's a really effortless, glowy, and like I said, I do know that this product sets. I'll try to apply about the amount I just did. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. <laughs> did you notice how I started counting slower as I went? Okay, roughly 10 seconds per eye, I guess. Well, I think that's pretty. I think it's glowy. It's very casual. The vibe of Kosas is not a real overworked looking face, you know? I do think that looks pretty. I hope it wears the way it appears that it will. And now I guess I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner and we do have a mascara to try. I just added a little bit of liner to better define my eyes, but like I said, it's a really effortless, still very light look. And I think this will just help um, my lashes maybe look a little thicker at the lash line, give a more finished vibe to the entire look. So I'm curling my lashes. We have this mascara here from Ilia. It's called Limitless Lash Mascara in After Midnight. Now I've said sometimes when you get a mini mascara tube, you're not always getting the best look at the mascara because it's not like passing through as much tube as a normal mascara would. And therefore sometimes I feel like the mascara brush does not get coated up in the way a normal brush would because usually the brush they put in as it appears here is full size you know they're not like making that brush smaller to be a mini but this is an interesting looking brush it's kind of large it has some really spiky looking bristles they're more full around most of the brush and then off of the end it looks like a straight up comb it kind of reminds me what was that one called I used it a lot in college it's called from Maybelline it was called lash style List, I believe. Am I thinking of the right one? And it seemed like it just had an actual comb on it and it actually gave really nice lengthened lashes. So here I am kind of trying to use the other side to get some product built up here and then I'll use that comb to really pull it on through. Doesn't appear to be dropping the curl, but do you understand what I'm saying here? There's short rubber bristles around most of the brush and then there's one end that's just poking out longer and it just looks like a full on comb. As it's starting to get a little drier on my lashes, I think it might be building a bit better. It's hard to tell if the brush is getting enough product in it in this tiny tube. Full size brush, itty bitty tube, I'm not sure. I expect I would have a little different experience maybe if this were full size, but there's what we've got. I've got some of my lashes kind of still wanting to stick together despite using this little comb side to kind of rake through. It's really, really dark, I will give it that. Let's go ahead and do the other side. 
does seem like it's kind of light on my lashes. It's not really immediately dropping down my curl, which some mascaras do. Some mascaras you get them on and it's just like everything you just sat there doing with your lash curler is like not a factor in your look anymore. It just drops it. Okay, I've kind of got like what I'd call the first coat on over here. It's not that my lashes have drooped. It's just, it's very, very fine looking. Folks, I think we're just using more of a natural look mascara here. Building a little bit with the second coat, you're seeing the lashes more. And I really try to utilize that comb. Again, comb is not gonna pile the product on, but it is gonna kind of help pull it through. But it's still not like a miracle worker in terms of keeping those lashes from wanting to stick together. Piling on a little bit more. Is it the worst mascara I've ever tried? No, and I do think it's a creative concept to have that like built-in lash comb on the wand, but it's not really effective enough still at getting the lashes really nicely separated. And it just doesn't give that like full fan of lashes that I'm wanting. So this is kind of a uh, product for me, just okay. I wish they would have put a blush of some sort in this kit, but we do have finally two lip products. One is this lip oil from Item Beauty. It's called Lip Quip and the shade is Come Through. It looks like kind of a corally peach color. It's very sheer. Just pop it on here for you. Lip oil, yeah. Smells incredible. Uh, really fruity. It smells like candy, really, but looks completely like a clear gloss, totally transparent. Texture on the lips, borderline greasy. Um, it's pretty thin. It's the kind of thing for me, I would maybe pop it on at the start of a makeup routine, let it kind of sit there and soften up the lips a bit. Um, don't apply too much or else it might feel really greasy, but probably not the type of thing I'm just wearing out and about throughout my day. I like a little more color than that. Still, it's good moisture. I think it's doing good things for the surface of the lips, but that's not going to be your colorful lip product in this set. This one though is. This is a really beautiful color. This is from Merit. This is the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Marrakech and um, it's a beautiful rosy shade. The packaging is really nice and this and this were the full size things that came in this kit. Also the whole packaging is recyclable. They want to point that out too. And actually one of these things leaked a little oiliness in the package. I want to say it came from this, um, but I'm not positive. Anyways, let's move on here. So this is another thing being called a tinted lip oil, but as you're going to see this one has a lot more color. And as far as the feel, I'm kind of building this up a little bit. Oops, got a little dab. It feels actually even thinner, but not quite as greasy as the other one, if that makes sense. Like it's a thinner texture, but it's packed with a little more pigment. It just has a little bit less of a greasy goopiness than the other one. And just more of this lightweight lip color type of feel. It's really interesting because it's not super glossy, but it does feel incredibly moisturizing. Um, I wore this all afternoon the other day and I thought, wow, that's really pleasant on my lips. And I do love the color. It just looks so healthy and nice. And I mean, I would always go for this kind of a look as opposed to the completely sheer kind of no lip color look. Like I said, this may work its way in in more of a treatment fashion, more of a skincare level type product, but this, I absolutely love it. And again, it's very thin. It feels almost thinner on the lips than the other, but there's more color packed into it and it still feels really moisturizing. So that, my friends, kind of wraps up this six piece kit that I tried. Um, I feel like my two most favorite things are this uh, Say, sorry if I'm saying this wrong, but it's the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. I thought that was a really nice a dual purpose product. It looked gorgeous underneath my foundation. The foundation in turn looked really nice on top of it. And then I love topping off the cheeks with that as well. And my skin does not feel too tacky at this point. It really just feels like skin. And then I love this lip color too. The 10 second eye is kind of in the middle for me. Like I feel like this color is nice. I could have maybe gone with something a little deeper, but this is pretty. You know, if we're going for the effortless, easy makeup vibe, it is hard to screw up a shade that isn't too dark, but it does not feel sticky and it did totally set what I put on there. Tower 28 spray. Again, I should have used this, I guess, before my skincare, but I think we're all kind of accustomed to popping on a mist as more of a setting type product. And it did give the skin a little added glow in that respect, but it's not really like a standout thing to me. And my bottom two, you know, the item lip oil was fine. It's just not going to find its way into the finished look of a lot of my makeup looks. And the 
Ilia mascara. Just kind of doing an average to below average job on the lashes, so not a huge fan of that. But was it worth it to try something that I was gonna buy on its own and then end up getting to try so many other things? Considering what I like most about the kit, I mean, for $32, I got these two full-size things plus this that I really liked, so I think it was worth it. But feel free to let me know what you think about the products used or just the brands that I've used. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback, and thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.